What's up, y'all? It's Josh from Coase, and I'm here to tell you about multi-agent mode. Now, multi-agent mode is the ability to make multiple agents or bots work together and collaborate to complete complex tasks. Now, it's a bit different from single agent mode. Usually, you're used to writing a really long prompt and a persona in order to complete multiple tasks. But now, you can offload that to multiple bots, and they can all play their own role. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so I'm here in the Co's workspace and I'm in single agent bot mode. And that just means that my bot is able to take a prompt, get some skills, and it's able to complete some simple tasks. Right now, this is a personal assistant bot that's able to send emails and check my emails from using the Microsoft Outlook email plugin. However, I wanna step it up a notch. I want my bot to have the ability to create calendar invitations and update my calendar, or even create Google Sheets or update Google Sheets and read them back to me. So what I'll need to do is create a multi-agent bot so that my bot doesn't have to feel like it has to complete all those responsibilities inside of one prompt. Now this helps separate concerns and this also helps complete complex tasks. And I'll show you how to do this right now. So the way to do this is by going over here next to develop and clicking single agent mode and then over here to multi-agent mode. Multi-agent mode and single agent mode have a few similarities. We still have persona and prompt on the side here our variable, scheduled task, and opening dialogue. However, when we look to the middle section, we have this starting point and a node here. This node is an agent or a bot that operates off this prompt. It can also have skills applied to it, like plugins, workflows, and knowledge. And it can also operate off of jump conditions in order to get passed from one bot to the next and switch whenever you trigger off of keywords. So I'll write a jump condition here so that when a user wants to send an email, we'll get passed to the email bot. So these bots work collaboratively in order to get complex tasks done. So let's start putting the pieces together. In order to do that, we're gonna need a node. And a node can either be a new agent, a bot that you already created in single bot mode, right? So these are some past bots that I've created. And then also a global jump condition, which is a jump condition that will apply to all the agents that you have here on the board. Now, what I'm gonna do is just add a new agent and I'm gonna make this agent into a bot for our email. So let's go here and we'll call this email bot, right? And we can say, you are a bot that helps check emails. So from here, what we're going to do is add a new plugin for our Outlook email, right? And we're gonna choose both of these options to get the mail and also be able to send mail, just like how we had before in our single bot mode. Now, what I'll do is I'll take this jump condition that I have here to respond if a user wants to send emails or check their emails, and I'm gonna pass it over here to this email bot. So now I have both of these bots here connected to one another. This My Assistant bot acts as my main menu, and it will start to prompt my user and ask what responsibilities or what do we want this bot to do. And when I say something along the lines of check my email, it's gonna actually pass me from this My Assistant bot to my email bot. So let's take a look. So it says here, system next step, and it passed it to our email bot. All right, so let's check my email. And now that I'm here, um, signing in for the first time with Microsoft Outlook email, I just have to click here to authorize my email address. Authorization only takes a few steps. So let's actually just run this again and see what it outputs. So it's using system next step and now the plugin. And it's looking at my email address and it seems that I have two new emails here. Great. So these are the two emails that I have in my Microsoft Outlook email address now. If I want to enhance the email agent, I can always come back and add more to the prompt and give it some skills like plugins, workflows, and knowledge bases. However, I need a bot that's going to solely handle the responsibility of managing my calendar. And that can consist of skills like adding events to my calendar, inviting folks to my calendar, updating my calendar, or even listing what's on my calendar for the day. So in order to do that, I need to add another node and connect it to another plugin. So I'll create a node here and I'll rename this node calendar bot because this is going to represent our calendar agent. And I'm going to give it a prompt 
and I have a prompt here that I already wrote, and I'm stating that this is a bot that creates calendar events, updates calendar events, and lists the calendar events. So what I'll do now is I'll connect this jump condition that I've already created that responds if a user wants to send a calendar invitation, update a calendar invitation, or list them. So I'll take this here, and I'll pass it over to our calendar bot, and now what I'll need to do with this calendar bot is give it some skills. I'll go here to our plugin list and I'll also add Outlook Calendar. Now, if you have another email that you have uh, managing on another service, you can always create a plugin here with the API. But for now, I'm going to use Outlook Calendar. So I'll go here and I'll add all the skills, create event, list event, and update event. So I'll go here and I'll click out and I'll see that my skills are already here, ready to go. So my bot is currently chatting with our email bot. So if I say to my bot now, create a calendar event on Feb 12th at 11 a.m. Pacific time, title the event webinar. So I'll send this over to our bot and we'll see how its system steps and changes it from our email agent to our calendar agent now. And you'll see that it's using the plugin and it's stating that the calendar event was created and we can view it here. So let's wait for the response to finish and we'll take a look at our calendar and we'll see the changes. So if we click here, we'll go straight to our calendar and we'll see. We have a webinar here at 11 a.m. on February 12th. We're also going to need to be able to connect more functionality. So we can continue to add more nodes and connect nodes to each other with jump conditions, and it can get even more complex. So I can add another node here to connect to a Google Sheet or another service that I need to work with. It could be Notion, you name it, or you can even create your own plugin as well. So these jump conditions is what's really going to help put all this together, it's the glue. And what we'll use is these jump conditions in order to create this flow of work that our bots, our team need to accomplish in order to execute the tasks that we're asking for. So this really helps take off the load of one bot handling everything, and this team of bots can work together to give you what you need. I've gone ahead and created some new additions to my multi-agent bot. So you can see here that I have some new jump conditions as well, and this jump condition that I have is to connect to my new Google Sheets agent that I have here. Now, if you see, I have this jump condition and I can just connect to this Google Sheets bot and it will respond anytime a user talks about Google Sheets. So I have all these different jump conditions and vice versa on each of these agents that connect to one another. And they'll respond and trigger when any of these bots are mentioned. Now, I also wanna add one last thing here to make this all kind of glued together. Since I'm using this My Assistant as a main menu, I wanna be able to come back to this main menu anytime a user says something along the lines of main menu. So what I can do is add a new node for a global jump condition. And in this global jump condition, I'll just add a prompt here. So if the user wants to visit the main menu. So what I'll do is just put it right here above our My Assistant bot. And I'll drag it over here and I'll connect it. Right now we're chatting with our calendar bot and I'll just say to it, bring me to the main menu. So now you'll start to see that it's going to switch over to our My Assistant bot because we have this global jump condition. So it's pretty cool. Now it's listing out all the things that I can do with this bot based on the prompt that I have. And that's it for multi-agent mode for now. If you want more information, make sure you check out the codes documentation and look for multi-agent mode. If you have any questions, make sure to join us on Discord and on Telegram, and we'll see you in the next video.